All right, got yet more non-shocking news uh, from the Muslims in Africa, just doing what Muslims do best, behaving like wild men, as talked uh, as described as Ishmael of Ishmael, basically in Genesis 16, verse 11 to 12. We're going to read this article. This is on. Uh, it's on. What is it on? Uh, International Christian Concern. Fulani militants kill 142 people in deadly attacks across central Nigeria. Well, just doing what Muslims do best, pretty much, uh, being like their father Ishmael. On April 10th, armed groups of radicalized Muslim Fulani herdsmen simultaneously attacked an estimated 10 villages in Nigeria's central plateau state. 142 people were killed in the attacks, and with an estimated 3,000 now displaced from their homes due to the violence. Of the nearly 70 people abducted, most were women and girls. Yeah, because the Muslims are a bunch of, of seducers. Survivors of the attack say that the militants arrived in large numbers riding on motorcycles just as people were preparing their farmlands for a rainy season. In addition to killing and abducting villagers, they burned down at least 100 homes, destroyed farmlands, looted barns, and stole livestock. Well, just doing what, because Muhammad was a caravan robber, so they're just following the examples of their pedophile prophet. Uh, survivors, it says, continuing on in the article, survivors of the attack stated that the militants arrived in large numbers riding on, oh, yeah, I already read that. The extremists who perpetrated the attacks were described as riding three as riding three on a motorcycle motorbike consistent with descriptions of past Fulani attacks. Survivors of the Fulani attacks in 2017 and 2019 described the militants riding on motorcycles carrying three people, one of whom drove as the other would shoot towards the left and right respectively. The targeted communities were settled uh, the targeted communities were settled by Christians and Muslims. Most of the victims of the attacks seemed to be Christian farmers in those communities. The Fulani, uh, who are majority Muslim, are the world's most nomadic ethnic group. While most Fulani live at peace with their neighbors, militant Fulani, having been radicalized by extreme Islam, well, there's no such thing as extreme Islam. It's Islam. The Muslim terrorists are not terrorists. They're just Muslims. Read the Quran for yourself. Uh, have emerged from their from their people group with jihadist intent. Well, yeah, again, extreme Islam is not extreme. It's just Islam. They're just doing what Muslims. They're just doing what the Quran tells them to do. Uh, it says, continuing on in the article, last year Nigeria earned the distinction of being the country with the world's worst persecution and International Christian Concerns Persecutor of the Year awards. Radicalized and armed Islamist Fulani have killed tens of thousands of Christians and left more than three million homeless in a 20-year genocide against them. Quote, the Christian communities of the Middle Belt of Nigeria have been have effectively suffered 20 long, a 20 year long genocide, says the ICC president, Jeff King. Where is any action? The, the, the Nigerian government gives the attacks lip service without any meaningful response. Unquote, or sorry, quote, where is the outcry? Where is the effective action in Nigeria? The military, the police, and the intelligence agencies are all controlled by Muslims. Well, that, that's the problem right there. That, that's the problem why they're not reacting, because it's controlled by Muslims. Uh, this couple with a 20 year lack of response from by these agencies should naturally lead to deeper questioning uh, by the world community. Well, they don't care because after all, the Muslims are always the victims. And after all, you know, uh, it's just a few Muslims. It's not the radical ones. You know, it's funny how all the people who say that Islam is religion, religion of peace never actually read the Quran, never actually read the Hadith. They're just they're just repeating a narrative. I challenge you to actually read the Quran. For example, specifically read uh, Surah 9, Surah 4 and Surah 3. Read those things and then come back to me and say, OK, Islam is religion of peace. Because guess what? You won't be saying it after you read those three surahs. But anyway, continuing on, because I've actually studied Islam. I've read the Quran myself. And and anything that owes a religion of peace, yeah, it's a bunch of garbage. A load of crap, I'll put it that way. Simply put, the time for cheap talk and platitudes is over. The world is waking up and asking, is the Nigerian government complicit in these attacks? Well, if it's controlled by Muslims, I'd argue it. I'd argue that it probably is. But time will tell, but this long time watcher, uh, but for this long time watcher, the decision is in. Well, Here's the thing too, is that uh, I believe in self-defense, I believe in armed self-defense, and I'd have no problem if, for example, if this kind of stuff came here to Canada, I'd have no problem arguing, or sorry, arguing, I'd, ha I'd argue I'd have no problem uh, setting up an, a Christian militia to basically just fight and defend ourselves from these attacks with armed self-defense. I did, I did a video on uh, self-defense against Muslim attacks. Yeah, it's perfectly, nothing scripturally wrong, which is defending yourself from being butchered by these Muslims. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. Uh, pray for the Christians over in Nigeria because they're facing the brunt of Islam. And I guarantee this is going to get taken down for hate speech. I honestly don't care. Uh, you can call me Islamophobic all you want. This is the reality of it. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.